So we're now going to unbox the Intel Core 2 Quad 9650. Uh, the socket 775 and it's 3.0GHz. Uh, uh, we've got uh, around, uh, well it's pretty much exact 12 megabyte of L2 cage. So this is the Intel stock cooler. We won't really be using this since uh, yeah, my current one is much better. So let's put it aside. There it is. Yep. And uh, this is the thermal paste we'll be using. Arctic Silver 5. It's said to be the world's best thermal paste. Yep. Yeah, so this is the Dell XPS 630 computer desktop. And uh, it's a really good design, I really like it, with this uh, stainless steel chassis and everything. Unfortunately, unfortunately, they are not made anymore, so yeah, they'll replace them with uh, Alienware. Anyway, we're gonna change the processor now, and uh, it'll just go like this. Zip, and the side comes off. Now we're gonna replace the CPU with a new one. You always want to wear one of these when working with computers, it's an anti-static wristband. Even though some people say it's not needed, I think I prefer to use it instead of even risking destroying a $370 CPU. So we're gonna screw the CPU cooler off, heatsink. We screw the heatsink off. I'm now gonna lift up the old CPU. So you just will find a lever here, at least on Intel motherboards. Just press it down. That. Put the lid off. And you lift the processor straight up. So, yeah, this is the old one. You don't really see any difference on the old one and the new one. So, it's really what's under the hood that's uh, making difference. Gonna put in the new one. You wanna be careful to not touch the golden plated side. And there's a yellow triangle here on the side that's gonna uh, fit to the triangle on the motherboard. So it's really impossible to place it wrong. Like if you if you even feel any resistance, don't push it in. So if it's good, just close the lid. And load the lever again. Like that, it's installed. So now we're going to uh, clean the heatsink uh, to uh, like remove the old thermal paste since uh, we're gonna apply a new one uh, and uh, it's gonna be as, so close, it, so clean it can get. And you wanna use some alcohol that's uh, vaporizing pretty fast, so I got some acid in here and it's gonna be. Uh, like a chemical clean one, so no oil or anything. So just move the old one. Yeah, and by the way, this is my uh, the CPU cooler that came with the computer, and this is the Intel stock one. See the difference? <laughs> You want to get it so clean as possible. Like that. Then you want to wait, wait a little while for uh, the fluid you use to vaporize. So, so we're now going to apply the thermal compound, and it's uh, Arctic Silver 5. And it's really important that you don't use too much, 
Uh, and it's actually better to use. Uh, use it's less than. Yeah. So you're gonna since this is a quad core, you wanna use the line method, and it's gonna be approximately one millimeter wide and uh, yeah, about the length of a rice uh, grain. Like that, that's enough. We're now putting the heatsink back, and uh, you don't want to spread the paste or, or anything. Uh, you just let the pressure on the under the side here uh, do the job. Uh, when you screw it, you want to tighten it. So it's going to be this direction. We're gonna tighten the screws. So there, the installation is done, and we got the thermal compound on. So now I'm gonna put a tape back on. Real light there. 